Okay. I'm ready to get my ass kicked. <laughs> I couldn't leave too much time... ...between the last time I played this as... ...I did not want to lose the muscle memory of this wretched stage. But welcome to the stream. <laughs> it's a jank o'clock already. It is indeed. Hello, Savine. How's it going? <sighs> I'm gonna play it this way. If... I can't make progress in this stage, I'm gonna go do another stage. Because... This stage and its checkpoint, it's just not cool. Very sleepy, fair enough. How long you'll work before going to bed. Well, happy to have you. It'll give me company and prevent the inevitable meltdown that'll come from the stage eventually, but... <laughs> Almost literal meltdown, because it's, it's hot here. Woke up today and suddenly it was summer here in Australia, or at least where I am in Melbourne. Um, it's been cool. And today, just out of nowhere, BAM! 33 degrees Celsius. Well, it's not the hottest, it just wasn't ready for it. Um, and, yeah, the crazy part is it's going back down tomorrow, so... It's like, it's almost like today didn't happen. It'll start cooling down soon and I'll have to... Turn off the air conditioning and then probably start wearing, um... I guess, warmer clothing. But yeah, the rest of the week it's like, the highest temperature is 25, so... Just back to normal. One Celsius, a little chilly. Yeah, one Celsius is like record low temperatures in Melbourne. <laughs> that would be on the news, it'd be like, oh, we're in for a very severe cold period coming up. Stay warm, stay toasty, stay indoors. The lowest temperature ever recorded in Melbourne, I think, is negative two. And it was in the 1800s, so, you know. It might take me, like, a couple of tries just to warm up. You couldn't live in Australia ever. See, people say that because of the heat, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. There's acclimation, but then there's also... When it does get extremely hot... I mean, you end up staying indoors anyway. And even if you don't and you have to go out somewhere, basically everywhere has air conditioning because you have to. So... Like right now, yes, it's 33, but I've been indoors and the room temperature is nice and comfortable. So, I guess that's the thing is, yeah, it can get it can get very hot, but that's the thing. Air conditioning is like just required here, so everywhere has it and it just makes things easier. I think people would do better than they think here. Yeah. The only time it's annoying is when it, it alternates and you don't see it coming like right now. You think you haven't seen a single German home with air conditioning. That's fair. I mean, there it would, it would pretty much be a luxury, right? Like... You have money to burn, and you want to strictly control the temperature.
it would make sense. But otherwise, yeah, I mean, it would be just highly unnecessary most of the time. And maybe if there are a couple times where, yeah, sure, you would wish you had it, it's not the end of the world. Wait, on the other hand, some you reach temperatures of 42 Celsius with humidity, but then why don't you have air conditioning? That's just what happens here. I mean, 42 is like... That's in the upper end. If it's really bad, it'll get to 45, 46. But that's not... I'd say... In one summer... You'll get that maybe four to five times... If you're really unlucky. Last summer there wasn't a single day that was over 40, so that was... that was nice. But then in 2020, well... There was something like, uh... In terms of area... It was... Basically the size of Belgium that was on fire here. <laughs> so... That was 2020, and we had the worst air quality in the world for a few days. Because of all the fires. And then, you know, the world went to shit with the pandemic, so that was fun. Country is on fire to a pandemic where, like, I lived in the world's most locked down place. So. If you would have told me in 2019, like, at a New Year's party, hey, listen. This is what, this is what your 2020 is gonna be like, man. But yeah, I guess climate change makes sense. That would suck then, because... At least here, it's... Yeah, climate change is playing a factor in a bunch of things, but we already had high enough temperatures that um, it warranted having air conditioning as somewhat of a standard, and then it became more of a standard when things started getting more problematic. So hopefully you don't have to deal with that too much. actually had a drought there this year. This year has been crazy. I guess, you know, it still goes with climate change, right? It's, we experienced the opposite, which is we got flooding. Um, I mean, it makes sense, right? And that wasn't too long ago. That was uh, last month. record rainfall, flooding, um, yeah, it was kind of wild. Yeah, I, I got, I mean, I'm kind of lucky. <laughs> I, uh, I lived... I live next door to the suburb that got f one of the suburbs that got flooded, I should say. So, they had this uh, emergency map. And I was pretty much sandwiched between two towns that were like, hey, you should evacuate. So, that entire day I was kind of on eggshells a little bit, just waiting for the, uh, the call of like, hey, you need to leave the your house now. But it didn't happen. It was fine. But, yeah, I mean, people lost a lot of stuff. I have no idea how to do this jump. 
I feel like I need to look this jump up, otherwise it's gonna... <sighs> yeah. 44 is one third of 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the 44 months, Nick. Jeez, dude. It's almost four years. How's it going? If I can't get this jump this time, I'm gonna have to look it up, because it seems like it wants me to do something very specific there. And I would like to get past that point, because that's the furthest I've gotten. And I had to stop last time, because it was just taking too long. It will be easier small. It It is. It definitely is, but the problem is in... Alright, this area I can get through easily now. With the exception of one jump. It's still run into a spin jump. Okay. But the problem is, I've, I've kind of taken a peek at how far the checkpoint is, and it's pretty far away. Almost in a very, uh... What's the word? Demoralizing. Fashion like. But it's fine. I'm not sure for how long I'm gonna play this tonight, as it is it is still a bit warm. So, my focus is, let's say, not the greatest. Yeah, so, the point at which I got up to... I would say this is, like, roughly the same amount of distance left until the checkpoint. Without, um, without stopping, it takes three minutes to get to the checkpoint, so that's kind of nuts. I don't have problems with doing what is required of me in this stage. The problem is just, it's too much to have to do in one shot, at least for me. At a certain point, I will mess up. Mushroom as well, I can't recover that. Ah, uh, I mistimed it just a little too early. Sorry, I'll mix it up if I can't get the stage in, say, the first hour, or at least the checkpoint in the first hour, I'll go try another stage, as I don't want- I don't want this to be, like, a second stream where I'm doing the stage for the entirety of it. Not that the other stage is gonna be any better, like, it's just as tedious, but at the very least, variety. Ugh.
Ooh. Okay, there we go. I, I hate these things. This just reminds me of Crash Bandicoot when you get to a particular section of the stage too early and the cycle's just different every time. Like sometimes I get there to shoot right away and then other times there's a delay and it just, it messes me up. So, I mean... Ideally for me, after this section here, this is where the checkpoint should be. At this point, I feel like the play has gone through enough and it warrants like a congratulations. You've done well so far. Like here, it should be, it really should be here. Okay, now I have to scroll. I frame this right away. Okay. Oh. Okay, now what? Dude, what is this? Uh, I'm not sure where I need to hit this. I'm most likely not gonna get this. Damn it! Almost! Like I said, that's the advantage of the mushroom, is just, it does give me a couple of brute forces, you know? But... I think that's the furthest I've been now. So, I, I, I guess progress. <laughs> Just. Should have gone. My nose is currently itchy, so it's distracting me. Okay, hang on. Ugh. This is, uh, this is not a good run. Okay. Despite the stage being difficult, it's still a little more enjoyable than some of the other stages I've had to do in this area. Crap. 
Alright, so it's already been 20 minutes. <laughs> I am keeping a close eye on the time spent. Because I don't want it to elapse an hour. I also made the decision that, like, after Isaac, I think I'm gonna take a break from doing things that are just difficult in terms of playing games, like maybe just chill for a bit. Because it's been back to back just, hey, just do stuff that is challenging and torturous over and over again. The advantage of an emulator would be that I could totally rewind it and be like, no, that didn't count. Like right now. I'm better than that. This first part I have it down. I went down another rabbit hole today. <laughs> Unexpected one, but... Um, someone has... I guess it's a blog, but it's not really. But... They were publishing... Garfield comics where they've edited Garfield out, and it just makes the owner look insane. Because a lot of the times he's just talking to himself or he's just doing something really stupid, and there's no pet in the room. The one that I was laughing at hysterically is, so the original comic is Garfield's in a chair, and John goes, hey, let's go to the vet, and Garfield doesn't want to go to the vet, so he has to drag the chair to the vet. With Garfield in it. And so the edited version of the comic is John telling a chair that he wants to take the chair to the vet, and then he drags his chair to the vet. <laughs> just, I don't know why. Just, I know, I'm a little strange when it comes to that stuff, but... I couldn't stop looking at these stupid comics. There's one where he's just- it looks like he's screaming at a toaster to stop making toast. If you haven't seen it already, just look up Garfield minus Garfield. It's- it's great. If not for just like a few minutes of laughter. Also, hello, Laura. How goes it? Fine, how am I? Uh, you know, keeping cool. Kind of work up to being sweaty, just unexpected 
hate. And it's just gonna be gone tomorrow. It's gonna go back to being cold again. Or cold-ish. That's fine. Air conditioning's on. Just initially in the morning was a little uncomfortable. Keep it PG. What did I say? What? Because I was sweaty? Yeah, ha ha ha, okay, yeah, I woke up sweaty, that's fine. It's not the worst thing I've said. Like, there was the time I broke my bed. That, that was that was a fun one to explain. But not entirely. This is why I, I didn't want to spend too many days not playing this, because I didn't want to lose the muscle memory. I think right now, more than anything, it's just the hate. It's a little distracting. It's alright, it'll cool down soon enough. Okay, got it. I'm trying to get into the habit of crouch jumping more. when they do this. Just enough of a time delay that I have to wait. Ugh. Okay. Currently desynchronized. Oh, this is annoying. I'm probably gonna have to eat a hit here. Okay, there we go. Dude. 
that's the worst part about this is it doesn't matter how well I'm doing. If I fall into lava or a pit, that's it. It's like I, I could have both these mushrooms the entire time. Ah. Yeah, that. That was bad. I was doing so well. Hands are a little bit sweaty, so it does make it a little bit uncomfortable. It's not from pressure, it's just temperature. It's not, it's not lose yourself. This isn't, this isn't something where Eminem starts breaking out into the first verse. Hello, Nikto, how's it going? It's just warm here, that's all. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, 20 minutes and then I'm gonna swap stages, because I don't want this to be a whole stream of the stage. I have progressed. Why did I do that? Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, good to hear doing well. I have to be in a specific state of focus to play this game now. the moment I finished the jump, but it's okay. This is- this is the worst stage I've had to do so far. It's just- it's not that I can't do what it's asking of me. It's- the problem is, for whatever reason, the checkpoint is just an eternity away, and I don't know why. Like, okay, they want to make the stage hard. It's just making it drag out because I... <sighs> if there was a checkpoint here, I could do this 100%. 
The checkpoint is the same distance I've traveled in this area, up ahead. So, I mean, I'm gonna give it a break after a little bit. Because I spent a few hours on this, not yesterday, but the day before. I'm almost at the checkpoint, it's just... Ugh. It's one of the last stages, so I, I guess, but I don't know. done anything all day because <laughs> the heat. I'm supposed to go do stuff today. But then, yeah, no. It's 33 Celsius here. Yeah. Just all of a sudden woke up this morning and it was just that hot. Out of nowhere. And it's gonna go back to being normal slash, I guess, cold tomorrow. So I don't know. I stepped outside for a bit, it was like an oven. That's the first time that's happened. It's a shame I, I can't take a photo of outside and be like, yeah, it's this hot outside, can you imagine? I can't... I can't show that. I hate these low ceiling jumps, but admittedly I've been doing a bit better today with them. If it doesn't cool down before 10 o'clock, then it's gonna be a pretty rough night for sleep. So I'll probably stay up and watch stuff. I could photograph a thermostat. We don't have one. Thermostats? People have thermostats in houses? I thought that only happened in movies where they go to the wall and there's like a thermometer on the wall. common? Hmm. Maybe it's not an Australian thing. I've never seen one. I've seen digital ones with, um, like, air conditioning and, uh, heating systems, but I've never seen one that's just, like, a, a thermometer on the wall. There you go. I know one thing that weirded my cousins out when they came here. Um, the power outlets having switches on them. Because apparently in America they don't have that. It's just an outlet that you just plug in and then suddenly power is, is in the device or is in here. If each outlet has a switch, and then you flick it on. 
and that it's that's not not that's nothing new. Like that's I haven't seen anything else. Oh wow to like the not having the switch thing, or oh wow to having the switch thing. Which which what's the oh wow for? Having it, really? What? I, th I thought that was just like such a big common sense thing. I mean, even even the ha like growing up, the house that um or the unit, the flat, whatever, that house was like from the sixties and it had it. They're like a, a legal requirement here. Huh. Alright, plus one to Australia for safety. Yeah, this... What is this? You know, I, I don't have time for this. Just use the iframes. I fucked this. Dude, this stuff. I need to look this up. How do you do that jump? Because every time. There has not been a single time I've gotten to that jump and done it. The depraved. Stronghold. Every time that, that jump has messed me up and I'm tired of it. Sorry, I'm just looking at the video now. Um, I'm getting a little depressed at like how long I have left to go. Okay, here it is. So what did they do? It's a... Sp okay, so... By the looks of it, it's, it's just a spin jump. Like, in the moment you get there, immediately spin jump, I guess is what I'm saying here, but I don't know. And just trust that it's gonna work, which is a bit bullshit because you can't see it right away. So that, that isn't great. There's quite a bit of leap of faith going on. Like, this part is fine because you can see what's up ahead, and you can prepare for it, but that jump there... I don't know, man. Ugh. Now I'm kind of curious, like, what other countries have this, or are we just alone in this, where it's just our outlets that do this? I think it's not just an, a, a safety thing as well, it's for energy saving, so you can just flip stuff off without unplugging it. I mean, I guess now it's not so much a thing because things are pretty energy efficient, but I imagine in the past it would have been useful. So wait, have, have you two never seen an outlet that has a switch on it? Maybe once in a hotel, okay. 
interesting. Fuck. That was bad. They had USB, USB ports and stuff. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the newer houses here, you can find them with USB ports and Ethernet. But I mean, every other old house, they have switches on them. I guess maybe we're the weird ones then. I just kind of joked about it. It's like, oh, another thing where America doesn't care about safety or the well-being of their population as a whole. But okay, maybe we're the weird ones. move on to just playing chill games for a while. <laughs> just... Ugh, man. I hate this, I really do. Okay, go back. That's better. My frames! Okay, I, I don't like having the camera like this now. They're just so annoying. Okay, but can can I just say like after that point, how much of it is left really? So okay, one counting the number of jumps. Two three four five. Okay, there's a little bit of Dude, the stage just doesn't end. There's some absolutely disgusting things I'm going to have to do from a jumping perspective.
Yeah, okay. <laughs> that is so demoralizing how much is left. Well, the time box is approaching, so if I don't get it in the next 10 minutes, I'm going to go do another stage. It's not that I'm doing poorly either, it's, a... it's just way too long. Just, it's asking too much of me. <laughs> Send a picture of the thing used most of in most of Europe. No, but we have those there. No, I'm talking about the outlet on the wall. Like, am I really gonna have to get a picture of one? Like, uh, this is what they look like here. They're like this. I know, they're like such an exciting topic, but it might blow a few minds. have an outlet on a little kitchen lamp with a switch, but it's not a wall outlet. Huh. Okay. Every single outlet, every single outlet without failure has one of these. Oh, I 
wasn't gonna make it. Yeah, I mean, the ones that have extra, um, I don't know what they call it technically, but they all have that switch as well. I mean, I guess I just never want a scenario where you don't have that control. Like, let's say, in a bathroom where you plug in a hairdryer. Where you're only likely to plug in one or two um, appliances in there. And wouldn't have one of those switch things. That's probably where it's the most useful. Okay, um, I'll have a few more guys and then I'll go try another level. Like I said, I don't want this to be the whole stream again. Do we have light switches on the walls by the doors as well? Yeah. Um, this room has two light switches, like one at the door, and then it has one, um, like, near my desk, so... But not every house is like that. Uh, I mean, growing up, it was just the one light switch on the wall near the door. But some houses have two sets of light switches per room. the muscle memory. Good. Good for you, Australia. I, I mean, I, I thought this was normal. I don't know. I thought the Americans were the weird ones. Just... Guess not. Focusing hard enough. I'm getting. I'm failing areas that I shouldn't fail. Like, I, I have this memorized. Just. I'm faking myself out. I don't know. If I do something long enough, I start forgetting. 
fuck's sake. <laughs> this is the one jump that I'm like, fine, whatever, I'm gonna mess it up sometimes. That was close. Okay. I just want, like, another attempt when I get that far again. That's all. And I'll be satisfied and then I can go do another stage for a little bit. I think this is- that section there is rude, just having something off-screen that you can't account for is- I don't know, I don't like that kind of level design. Like, that's fine because you- you, you adjust as it comes into frame, but then there's stuff where it's just- you can't really adjust it. We have outlets down by the floor, up on the wall, like in general. Uh, I mean, bedrooms usually on the floor, and then I guess everywhere else, it just wherever makes the most sense. Like kitchens, you can have it up and down. Bathrooms, sometimes they put them in the medicine cabinets. I wouldn't say there's a golden rule. I like how this is fascinating. Just the extent at which, like, well, where do they draw the line? Where do these Australians draw their line with their power outlets? Yeah, I'm sorry, that jump is just utter trash. <laughs> I tried to do it. I think I needed more of a running jump. Like, I, w I wasn't completely at the edge, but... Just the fact that I can't see that and know where it is relative to my character until I jump, it it's... I'm sorry, it's bullshit. And ask, well, scrolling the screen across kind of throws off the balance a little. I think the only area we're weird in is just the switches, I guess. Like, I don't think anything- I think everything else you'll find we're just like everyone else. <laughs> in terms of positioning and quantity and... At least I hope so. Have to bend to get to the switches. Uh, I guess. If I want to reach that specific one, I don't think so. It's not something I've 
thought about, to be honest. It's just... it's a, it's a switch. Like, I, I don't have to do anything extra, I don't think. Switches are right next to each other. It's just muscle memory. Can't say I've ever gone, oh crap, I've accidentally flicked off the wrong switch. Because you know where the outlet is, and then you just go left or right. There was something like three in a row, maybe. Left or right or up or down. Do we put furniture in front of it? Uh, in, in one room I have, but then it just remains on. It's stuff that I know that... I know that I won't need to flick off, like, say, a TV. Why would I want to cut power to that, or a fridge. I, could, I would never need to touch that switch. It just, when it comes time to unplugging it, and pulling the cord, I guess it's nice to know that power has been uh, removed from the device whatsoever. Like, completely. It's gone. It's like, if there's faulty cabling, then... I won't get electrocuted, as the switch will have done its job. It's just one of those things where, in the that one in a million circumstance where something has gone wrong, then you'll be glad it's there. personality doubt that switch could do that well the thing is here it's regulated so if it didn't <laughs> whoever built it would get sued so you can trust that it's going to work because it's it's part of building regulations It's not like this is something voluntary that people do, no, this is like, it's strict. Every building that gets made, regardless of whether it's a house or a commercial property, it you have to have these switches done and they have to be working and tested by a certified electrician. What a topic. I bet that the reason it's like that is they probably change the law at some point and then when they do that the government generally puts in these programs to subsidize um, the cost of moving to a modern system like they did so with um, halogen lamps and having solar panels put on houses they had um, rebates and programs to encourage people to do it so I would imagine whenever this happened, 
it would have been the same thing. And then they just made it a law. Ooh, that was lucky. This was certainly not the direction I was expecting that conversation to go in. make it through this part. I hate that so much, but it's done. So that's how that's done. It is pretty much jump immediately, or you're not going to make it. I hate it, but okay, I've made it once, so I can put it in my head that I can do it. Okay, this is officially the first I've been now. Oh, this, this. What is this? How do I- how do I do this? Okay, um... What? So this is where having the extra hit would be useful. Okay, so it's either jump or- Jump? Okay. Yeah, so I think it's jump across, then spin jump back, land on the flame, and jump across. So it's like, forward, back. Oh, this is fucked. I'm gonna- I'm not gonna get this. Oh my god, what was that? <laughs> okay, never mind. That's- that's another way I could do it, I guess. Okay, I'm gonna look at the video. How is it done? Oh my god. It's exactly the way I did it. It just... They spit- they- They land, and then they spin jump back up and over the thing. So, I just panicked. Because I, I wasn't expecting that to happen.
but the checkpoint is two jumps after that, so... There's a light at the end of the tunnel. God, this fucking stage, dude. <laughs> See, if this was Super Mario 1, that jump right there, I could do it every time. Because as a kid, those are the kind of jumps I used to do. Like, single pixel on the edge and just doing another jump immediately. But I, I guess I just never played Super Mario World to that extent where I have that kind of muscle memory ingrained. But like Mario 1, I could absolutely do that kind of jump. Easy. So I, I guess I just have to channel that <laughs> and trust that it's going to work. I'll oh, piss off. All right, well, that's gone now. Okay. Am I doing Mario 1 for Christmas? Mario 1? Um, I don't know. It'll be something from childhood. If this thing I ordered comes in time, it might even be Wario. The options, I guess, I'm keeping open is like a Mario game, Donkey Kong Country, or, or Wario. Probably the contenders in terms of reminding me of Christmas. Yeah, I can't believe it's a few weeks away. Like, this week is the office Christmas party, which I'm like, what? Already? So that would mean that, like, next week is my last week of work, and then I'm done for the year. It makes sense that this year flew, because honestly, the, the years that preceded it just dragged, so... It makes sense. Shit! I forgot, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. That one is run and just jump right away, I forgot. But I, it's fine that I died because I need to get into that mentality where that jump is just, just go. What, the sooner I get that in my head, then... Yeah. I'll do something, but um, what I want to start this week is Stardew, just to keep up the yearly tradition of me playing that. So, at the very least that'll happen, just not sure what day yet. I know I said I'd put... <laughs> I would, like, try not to let this be the whole stream, but that amount of progress I just did just then. <laughs> Especially since I've seen that the checkpoint is, like, right after that section I got up to. I feel more compelled to try to get it done, 
Or at the very least reach the, ch the checkpoint, not finish the stage, right? Like... I can only imagine what the second half of this is gonna be. Yep, no, that's fine. That's fine. Those are the kind of jumps I need to start doing. It's okay, don't worry about that. Like that kind of last minute you only have like a pixel to work with kind of jump. It's okay. I pressed the wrong button and even still it wasn't enough. That jump is now my new worst jump in this. Termination. I don't think there's any other Christmassy type games that I know of, or at least I would associate with Christmas for me. Oh, that was lucky. Sucks. That was really unfortunate timing. I know one game that, uh, now that I think about it, kind of does remind me of Christmas. It's not, it's not good, but um, one Christmas we were given the Rugrats game on PlayStation 1. So I guess there's, there's like, I don't remember it being a very good game. Fuck, I didn't spin jump. But that was a game we got one year for Christmas. And I think we got Gex as well, and that's also not another great game. I mean, playing Gex would be strange because... From what I remember, that game... It's just him spewing out, like, a pop culture reference from the 2000s and 1990s. So there'll be a bunch of stuff there that even now as an adult be like, Who is he talking about? He does a lot of Austin Powers shit. <laughs> Someone was like, yeah, kids like Austin Powers, yeah, yeah. That's what Gex should say. I 
So I mean, I don't, I don't think those two would be particularly interesting games to check out. I mean, beyond poking fun at how how bad they can be. Like, there would be a weird nostalgia for him, but I would be poking fun. be Ratchet and Clank 2. Ratchet and Clank 2 would be a good game, though. The good games that I would replay for Christmas are, like, uh, A Link to the Past, Zelda 2, Super Mario World 1 and 2, Donkey Kong Country 3, UN Squadron. Uh, what else? Shit. I can't recover that. And then on the Game Boy, uh, Warrior Land 1 and 2. I guess Crash Bandicoot as well. Um, two and three. Shit. That was a risk I took. I had to take that risk. I, I need this buffer. I needed that. I, I would not be able to do this part without it. Hold on. Is there lava here? No. Okay. Fuck. Mistimed it. That jump sucks. Ah, I, I should have watched it one more time. I need to. I need to just relax at that point. I will get there. That was a really good run. Particularly since that jump that I was having so many problems with, I, I just did it. No hesitation, just went straight through it. So I just need to do that, and then 
I should be able to get up to the checkpoint, provided I hang on to my, uh, my mushroom. As that'll let me get through that, um, insane jump. <laughs> that frame perfect thing. Then I, I don't even want to think about what comes next. Oh, dude, I'm so close. I can't believe this is gonna be another stream where I'm doing this stage. That's, why did I have to? Why did I have to progress? Why did I have to progress? If I didn't progress, I would have quit the stage and started another stage already. But no, I had to see the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> it got me to dream. My hands are starting to hurt as well, that's the other thing. I should have just taken the hit, I don't know why, I just... Okay, come on. I think when you lose the power up and gain it back again, it's so distracting because it just stops. It stops the momentum you had. That pause. I get why they do the pause, but I've, I've always hated it. Even as a, even as a kid. That didn't feel right. Oh, come on. I've got this first part down. Why am I messing it up? I, I had this completely down. I wasn't ruining any part of it. And now I'm just... Ugh. It's frustrating. It just feels like I'm relearning it. That's- that's the jump that I hate the most. Everything else, no problem, I just autopilot.
Okay. Should be able to recover that. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's not cool. Alright, I'm not gonna rush through this. Okay. Still in a good position. God, that was so horrible. Wow. Ah, oh, my finger slipped. <laughs> but at least that part that I was struggling with the most and couldn't get the jump once, like, that's three times now where I've done it, and that's it's fine. I mean, I guess that's something. I'm just. Oh, do I want this to be over already? <laughs> I just don't want to think about this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm trying too hard to save the mushroom. That's my problem. I hate hitting my head on that ceiling. And I wanted to try and not do it that time. What you know. Ah! <laughs> okay, let me just take a breather for just like 30 seconds. I gotta stretch. I think I just need just a little break. Oh man, this level. Socks. But I guess use the iframes. It's okay. There was no way I was going to recover that, so just roll with it. It's fine. doing so well. <laughs> I'm so stubborn. I, I should have stopped this already. But I'm so close to the end there. Should have stopped. <laughs> now I have to get this. At the very least, a checkpoint. Jump. 
just... I'm gonna lose it. Ugh. I don't know why it's that jump. There's a lot of other low ceiling jumps that I get, but that one in particular, there's just always the chance that I don't get it. Maybe it's just the weird angle I have to jump at, I don't know. Unlucky. I framed through it. Alright. It's fine. hit at an awkward angle. I definitely think this is the worst stage in the game. Just not from a I'm not enjoying it perspective, just in terms of time investment and ugh. it's a lot. Oh my god. This... Between the two streams, this is, like, collectively 200 deaths on the one stage. compile this and just see every way I've died in.
Baking myself out so much right now. God, why? What happened there? <laughs> oh my god, that tilted me so much. What happened? Like, my character animation was still spin jumping. I, I clipped the room. Yeah. Oh my god. That broke my focus, like I was doing so well. What was that? I can't believe that. I feel robbed. I feel a little robbed. <laughs> Maybe because I... I don't know. I can't explain it. understand that I just can't explain it. <laughs> okay. Uh, shake it off. Wow, that was kind of rude.
fucker. <laughs> get back up. Okay, we didn't lose it. Okay, so oh, here's another jump that's kind of problematic. I might be overcomplicating that one. I feel like if I just go, it should be okay. But it's just that fear. that up. I shouldn't have gone. I didn't spin jump, that's my bad. I had that with muscle memory last time, and I, I've lost it, like I can't... I used to be able to get that with Big Mario every time, but I, I just keep faking myself out, like I'm... I've lost it at that point. be able to salvage. Like, on the one hand, being little is... is less of a liability. But having that safety net is just so useful. But this is this dude's stages, pretty much. It's- Oh, you're gonna do low ceiling jumps and then... Power-ups, they're gonna be something where it'll be a liability. Because of the low ceiling stuff. Oh my god. Sorry that this has become the whole stream again. <laughs> can blame it on my stubbornness.
you find is more interesting than that Zelda game I keep playing. Yeah, but that's like a case of to each their own. And if you don't play Zelda, then of course you're not going to find it interesting. Like, it's more interesting if you actually played Zelda 2. Or like are a fan of very, very retro games. Either or. Everything I do will interest everyone all the time, so... synchronized. There we go. Oh, how did I... Okay. I am very surprised that thing didn't shoot. It usually does. Myself. I was actually doing well, and then I, I, I rushed it. It's okay, this is still fine. Because this will probably take the upgrade anyway. Oh, dude. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's okay. These parameters are acceptable. <laughs> I need to watch this a couple times. Okay. Oh, that was right on the edge. Well, no safety net here. Oh, no! No, 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 no! I didn't do a high enough jump. Fuck. I'm edging closer to that, that checkpoint. It's nice when I got this part. <laughs> Don't take damage. That wasn't gonna work. I can't recover this. Okay. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> Whatever. I could have gone. It doesn't matter too much, because typically this part I'll do okay in. It's 
except when I don't. slightly off that part that stretch there is pretty much don't hesitate it's I've, I've figured it I just I missed I missed the jump I mean, this is basically if you're into speedrunning and or can watch speedrunning, then you can watch this. But otherwise, it's it becomes like repetitive. This is why I could never do speedrunning because speedrunning would be this plus. If you don't do a certain thing quick enough, you, you have to start again. Like, not only do you have to be extremely skilled in executing the stage, but you also <laughs> have to make sure you have to do this. It's enjoyable, that's fine. I just I'm always self-conscious about that stuff. Release the button. I mean, stuff at this difficulty usually isn't what I do. <laughs> 
It's a good thing that this is at the end of this ROM hack and not at the start. If this would be at the start, I would not finish this. But because I've come so far already... Like, I, I have to do this. It's a matter of principle. I, I just want to make it to the checkpoint. I don't think I'm going to do the second half of the stage today. As just... I think... Right now I have adrenaline to get there. But the moment I cross that checkpoint... It's immediate, like, exhaustion's gonna happen. I'm just gonna collapse. Ah, uh, just leave it. It's, it's better off that it's gone. I got more to lose trying to get it. I mean, I'm glad it's given some sense of nostalgia, despite the original games not being anywhere near this difficulty. I guess the sound effects and the music... But I'll make it a thing of 2023. I'm not gonna start anything new that's difficult for a long time. I mean, Isaac's still... kind of... Kind of still there, but it's not starting something new. But I think I'll, I'll make it a thing to spend some time just playing and enjoying games and not <laughs> subjecting myself to this stuff. I just felt like I haven't stopped since... Splunky 2, Risk of Rain 2. This, Isaac. Uh, I know- oh, the port- that portal game with, like, the ridiculously hard third dimension puzzles. Like... Ghosts and Goblins. Elden Ring. Yeah, Portal Reloaded was I was what I was referring to. Just <sighs> yeah, I'm sure I, I've forgotten others, but I need to do stuff that's like relaxing. <laughs> Even God of War to some extent, like the Valkyries and the uh, the Wolvers. That required. Focus combat, so that was difficult. Okay, well. Oh no. Okay, it's fine. Monkey ball. <laughs> Monkey ball, oh my god. Most definitely lost my mind in banana blitz. Monkey ball. Jeez. Two Monkey Ball games, although the second one I played wasn't as, as rage-inducing. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like since the pandemic started, I've just been doing back-to-back -back these kind of games.
And I've squeezed in more chill stuff every now and then, but the majority of it has been games like this. Diablo 2 Hardcore. <laughs> Terraria Hardcore. I just need to wrap up everything I've done, and then I can kind of clean slate it again. Oh my god, that was bad. Yeah, Stardew was always good for, uh, unwinding. Fuck, I hesitated. Okay, it's fine. And then checking out stuff like Monument Valley was cool, like just little short games. Even when I've just gone back and played a game that I used to play. There's a semblance of being able to relax. Oh, I'm so tired of this. That sound one. Sound one? There was a sound one? Sound. Which one was the sound one? I mean, there was Mon Cage, which was, there was like that weird perspective one. Music? I don't know. What, what was that one? Music, I'm trying to think. Wow. I'm drawing a blank, but it's one of these things where It's kind of an interesting disconnect, that because I'm playing, I tend to forget what I've done more, whereas in when you're viewing, you tend to remember more things than I do. Because I, I guess the, the best way to put it is like it's almost watching a TV show, and you can kind of remember episodes, whereas in me, I'm not really in that mindset, I'm just doing stuff. Oh, melatonin, right, that was like a demo, rhythm game, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I wouldn't say that was relaxing, like, still a little bit of stress, it was cool. The problem with that one, unfortunately, it, the music in that game triggers um, copyright thingies in YouTube, so it's just, it's unfortunate. I'm, I'm just fucking this up now. <laughs> I went from like, 
being so close to finishing, or not finishing it, getting to the checkpoint to just maybe... Okay, I think I'll get a bottle of water after this next death, just to... Make my brain take like a little bit of a break from it. Not too much. And that might be enough to get me back on the right path. Oh shit, okay. Give me 30 seconds. Oh, okay. I wish I was better at rhythm games, but I just don't have the patience for it. It's one of those things that I think, as from a viewing experience, it's entertaining, but... Let's face it, like, it's gonna cause internal screaming. It will. I can see it being on par with when I played, um... Detroit Become Human. And just how frustrated everyone got at me. Because it, like... Those QTEs are almost like mini rhythm games and... It just got so bad. I remember multiple people just ready to just call me on Discord and start yelling at me. I can't rhythm. Uh, I mean, I think I can. It's just... I'm very specific about it. I think it's one of those things where I would have to just shut up completely and focus on it and not think about looking at chat and just zone in and I'd be fine, but then that that would just be me playing a game silently and not responding to chat and it's not great, right? So I think that's part of the problem. Oh, you dick. The stuff that I checked out for um, Steam Next Fest, Next Fest were pretty good. It's just most of those games... I'm, I'm waiting for them to go on sale. That's just... They're a bit much. And, you know, the whole thing where I have a box of literal... A literal box of games. <laughs> so.
I didn't have to do that. It's just for good measure. Oh my god. I need to I need to get the muscle memory on that part back. this jump oh my god it's tilting me like i'm doing everything so well and i i've lost this jump <laughs> i used to get, be able to get it i'm i'm at this point where uh it ha this happens to me so much if i'm doing something over and over again and i got it down to muscle memory at some point my brain just loses part of it and I have to relearn it, and it's so annoying. Because it usually comes at the point where I've made the most progress, and then I have to relearn a section. It's... Right, if I like Railbound, I should check out Islanders and Dorf Romantic. Why does Dorf Romantic seem familiar? Why- what is- Why do I feel like I've heard of that? Why is that ring the bell? There is there is one thing um that actually should be out this week that I've always been interested in but I I think the one thing that's always put me off about it was just the visuals. But I've heard good things is uh Dwarf Fortress. And that's getting its version 1 release, I'm pretty sure, this week. And that's one of those, like, uh, you have to... You have to manage stuff, and it can be hilarious to watch. But it was all text-based graphics before, and... I don't know, I, I felt like I'd probably like the gameplay, but I feel like visually it could be boring. But now with this, there's actual graphics of dwarves and stuff, so... Um... No, I feel like I've seen someone play it, but I'm not sure who. I'm not even sure what I'm picturing as a game, that's the thing, but I know... I've heard the word before. It's similar to Railbound. Okay, hang on. I might look it up in a minute. I mean, no doubt there's a Steam sale coming up, so I'll be sure to look into it. Alright, let me look at this jump. I need to see how to do that one whilst big. Um, 
let's hang on. Plus it lets me take a little breather from it. Okay. Got it, more or less. Um, yeah, what is this? Door for Romantic. Why is it ringing a bell? Oh! No, I've played this. This is this is the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've played this. This was in the same next fest. I thought this was something new. No, I've played it. Okay. Just, I guess it just has a weird name. It, it just didn't click. The thing is, that one was cool, but I, I question how much replay value that has. And the asking price for it, that's, that's the problem. It's visually nice, and... I, I enjoyed it, but the thing is, if I was to buy it, what else would I get from it, beyond what I already got out of it? Fuck. <laughs> from the demo. I guess seeing new tiles and stuff. playing well. Right now, the thing that I'm kind of <laughs> struggling a little with is like... So, the YouTube stuff, right? It's kind of funny. But I would say the highlights channel at the very least. It's now to the point where more than half, if not two thirds, of um, the people subscribed there are because of that Terraria video that shows that build. So it's kind of like, what what do? <laughs> so I'm not exactly a Terraria content creator or a streamer for that matter. Like I played it a lot for a while, but. Haven't really touched that much since. I've just always never really gotten into the whole idea of just focusing on one game and only making content for one game as... I don't know. It just makes it difficult if you want to- if you do want to try something else, it, it's hard. Oh, come on. Okay. 
I keep thinking back to that time where, like, mm, there was a lot of people telling me to play Minecraft, and then when I did, it was like, no one was really interested in it. But that, that was a lot, that was for the best, because I, I wasn't enjoying it as much as, uh, the other stuff, so I just silently stopped doing it. What I know. Oh my god, why am I messing this up? <laughs> I almost want to play this on an emulator just so I can have the rewind and. When it's stupid little mistakes like that, I just, I would, I would like, I would like to just be like, nah, 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 come on, but. I just not am I just not gonna get this? Now it wasn't a matter of like having people play with me, I guess it was like from a viewing perspective. Just the Minecraft thing in particular. I put a vote to it, and then I was like, yeah, would you guys actually watch? Like, yeah, I'll totally watch. And then it was like Tumbleweed City. I think the thing that I worry about, like, doing more Terraria stuff is... It could be one of those things where... People are more interested in the end result as opposed to the journey, if that makes sense. Like, showing off something gigantic, but then the process of getting to that probably wouldn't get many viewers on livestream. I think Minecraft is definitely something you have to play with people to fully appreciate it. attention. Come on. Dude, I'm- I'm so rusty here. Why is this- why is this causing me so many problems? I think I've just been doing this for too long now. Ah. 
Should have waited. It's okay. I'm so saddened by the stage. It's just... It's satisfying to get the platforming down, but man, it's just... Why? Why, why does the checkpoint have to be so far away? deal. That, however... Alright, just iframe through it. Oh, Okay. A couple of adjustments I had to make on the fly there. I jumped too late. Oh, no. It was like maybe a half second too late. Dude. That tilted me a little. It's okay. I'm a little annoyed. I should not be messing that part up. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I'm faking myself out with some of this stuff.
just not trusting myself enough with some of these jumps. That's the problem. It's the spikes that are faking me out. Because <laughs> I keep thinking I, I need the mushroom to get through the very last part. That's what- that's what's fucking me up. I need to watch that again. Mm. Okay. I'm watching it again. Trying to like get a okay, this one. So, okay, <laughs> I sort of got my marker. And then, where is Mario gonna land? Mario lands straight in the middle, so aim for the middle. How many shrimp do you have to eat before your skin turns pink? I don't know. How many strange questions do you have to ask before you stun lock a streamer? To not focus on what he's doing. If this was- if that was phrased more like a fact, where, like, there's a, a- there's a condition where that happens, and then you'd be like, guess how many, then that would pique my interest a bit more. Like, the time Lelo came in here and was talking about a wall made out of jello, and that that was a real thing, then, yeah. But for stuff that's kind of... I don't know, I've never been good at... If a question is something that's just very not real and... Like, fantasy hypothetical, I, I don't know. <laughs> My brain just immediately goes, eh, don't care. Like, questions like, who would win in a fight between Superman and Batman? Like, I, I just... I don't know. I've never really engaged in that stuff, ever. I should've just gone. I 
I think it stems from I had friend I had friends that were <laughs> that could be rather obnoxious with that kind of stuff and would gatekeep. So whenever I hear it, it's just I just think back to that and mentally I'm like not. Nah. Don't even think think about it. But checks out fucking with the stream. I'll carry on. Oh, oh my god! I faked myself out. I had made it. Okay, I don't need it. This part I'm gonna take a hit on, but I don't care. Oh my god, ugh! Almost, ah! Almost. Okay, I have to watch this a couple times. jump is so annoying. Okay, but I got up to that again, which is, I guess, good. That's the best I've done in a while, so I, I can be happy with that. since I've had some stage take multiple streams. I think the last time this happened was uh, Crash Bandicoot. I hate this one. Just it's erratic timing, like sometimes it shoots right away and then other times it just it gives you enough time to cross it. But you don't know that. When you get here, you don't know which it's gonna be.
but I'm in a better position than before. I don't usually have an upgrade at this point, and I have a backup. Okay. I need to watch that again. That part, um, after that, that, that's it. Pretty much after that womp, that's, that's it. So, I'm... I'm watching it one more time. It's so precise, man. <laughs> I need to see how it's done. Or if I have... Okay, make it fall, make the other one fall, make it fall, make the other one fall. Ugh, that's disgusting, that last part, but okay. I mean, that last run, that was as best as I could do. I felt like I was doing really well there. It's almost midnight. I have to put a pin in this one way or another. Oh, I didn't spin jump. It's okay. It doesn't matter. I spent... <laughs> Once again, I've spent way too much time on this. Ah... Uh... Well, the VODs for this playthrough are going to be interesting. It's okay, don't care. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> what? Don't go back. Damn it. It's okay. Well, I guess we'll see. Thank you. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Easy. Take me out. Take me out. Okay. Go, 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 go! Checkpoint! Oh! Oh my fuck. Oh my god. Fucking finally. Oh, this this took like six hours to get through. <laughs> six whole hours. Six whole hours, dude. Six six whole hours. <laughs> I can't believe the stage isn't over. Okay. Oh my god. I'm, I'm going to save the game right now. <laughs> oh, I got there. As, as soon as I was able to do that jump where I kept the power up, that was it. Like, I knew it. Like, either way I had it. Because I could just damage through... I'm, I'm hitting this again. I could just iframe through both of those obstacles. Oh my god. Okay, well, you're not going to feel ripped off. <laughs> I've made it. It's not the end of the level, but at the very least, I, I got through that first half, so... I'm making such a big deal about getting to the halfway mark, but this stage is fucked. <laughs> There's no other way to put it, it's just way too long. So, let's just see what's up ahead so I can, I guess, mentally prepare for it, but... This is going to suck. It's going to be equally as hard. Oh no. Oh, what the fuck is this? Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, difficulty starts now. Um... What I'll do, I'll just get to life one, and then we'll call it. As it's a Sunday and I do need to look at getting rest. Oh, I didn't get the extra upgrade, whoops. But, man, ugh, oh, I'm so glad that's... <laughs> I, don't, I don't have to do... Ugh. I'm so glad.
Oh, what? Oh, that's just... Wow. Come on, really? Really? <laughs> how can I... How can I account for that? Wait, for the first time in months, my stream wasn't the first one you access after Twitch Prime refreshed. Oh, that's fine. I mean, for me, honestly, the thing that helps the most in terms of supporting what I do is honestly just being here. All the Prime and Jeff Bezos money is, is appreciated, but... Definitely just being around. I want a couple more guys at it, but I'm definitely not finishing this today. Just. <laughs> I don't know how anyone can. Ugh. If people are watching this VOD in future, honestly, leave a comment if you stuck- stuck through the full six fucking hours just to get to this halfway mark, honestly. I mean, well done if you did. I'm not sure anyone did live. Maybe one person, but... Oh, I forgot- I forgot the- people actually do that, do what? It's not a consecutive six hours. It's just, like, across two streams, I mean. I've already lost the... Oh, whatever. I feel like this is one of these things I can just rush through quickly. I think hanging around too much on the screen is going to do more harm than good. Oh. I'm objectively doing worse today more than I normally do. Listen. <laughs> if, you were, if you were to see, like, how much I tried to do the previous section. Go go back and watch today's VOD and the one from two days ago and look at how much effort I had to put in to just get to this point, honestly, and how how much of a mind melt I am right now. 33 degrees Celsius outside. And what I just had to go through. <laughs> Cut me some slack. I'm just seeing if I can brute force stuff and it doesn't look like it. Like, my last part of platforming prowess was used five minutes ago when I made it to the checkpoint. This is just for shits and giggles and I guess I just want to prepare myself mentally for what's about to unfold next time I play this. The stage has... Parts of it have been enjoyable, but I think it's just... That checkpoint being that far away. I murdered the PlayStation Wizard. You know, that's funny because I, I couldn't stop seeing that once the PlayStation came out. Um... I used to also think that the bullet bills, the hands were mouths. <laughs> they kind of look like it. The little ones, anyway. Hands, yeah, they're hands. 
Like the little ones don't have a mouth, they just have hands. Look up a 3D graphic of Bullet Bill. And then you'll realize what the sprite is actually depicting. I was, uh, I was a teenager before I realized that. Closer to an adult. Cool, so we're just going to be obnoxious with the whiz. Just have the constant threat of being shot. I'm dead. Yeah, I think that's the reason why I thought the same thing, because the big ones have the mouth as well. I did it again. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna say this is the final attempt. Unless I make some ridiculous progress, which I doubt. It's Sunday and I need to get some rest for tomorrow. Work. I got a lot to do. I don't have much time left before uh, the work year is wrapped up, so I need to make sure stuff gets done. One more try. I'm not going out like that. Okay, that didn't make us. <laughs> grab the upgrade, grab the upgrade, grab the upgrade, grab the upgrade, grab the upgrade. <laughs> All right, final attempt now. The stage just, I don't know. Ah, oh, all right, we're done. I'm just not playing well, but all right, we got we got to the checkpoint. I'll I'll settle for that. <laughs> I'm gonna go save because the inner child in me is just paranoid that something's gonna happen, and I'm going to save it again, despite only doing that a few minutes ago. <laughs> but I can rest. I got to the checkpoint. I'm happy. Pretty much, I'm gonna have to go through the same thing again for the second half of this stage. Um, as that video that shows what to do, it's six minutes long, and that's that's someone doing a perfect run where they don't stop. So that just shows how long that stage is. <laughs> it's probably gonna be another stream of just doing this, especially now that uh, I've got the checkpoint. I have to now complete the stage because I'm pretty sure if I get a checkpoint in another stage, it erases the checkpoint in this stage. Fairly positive. So now we're kind of stuck and I have to finish this. Uh, I'll uh, I'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow, but I, I'm def in, within the next two days I'm playing this again because I can't let the muscle memory leave. Otherwise, I'm just going to have a much harder time completing the stage, so... I'll endeavor to play again tomorrow, if not the day after, but it, it, I will definitely play in the next couple of days. I have to, <laughs> otherwise it's gonna suck. Alright, that's gonna do it for tonight, chat. I, I do hope you did enjoy watching this, despite it being the, st the same stage and the same section for like three hours again, but, you know, appreciate you sticking it out.